So I'm starting a new diamond art. This is Kobe 2.0, since I already did one of Kobe. Um, this is how I organize it. Just take these little thingies, mark, very organized, mark your uh, things. It gives you the thing right here. Here's another one, pretty simple. Especially this one doesn't have many. Some of them have a lot, a lot of different colors. So just cutting them, organizing them, rolling this out so it's gonna get flatter. And that is step one. And a lot of garbage. All right, all right, so box two is done. All the beads have been accounted for and organized. Um, instead of using this, which I did in the beginning with the wax, um, I found it slow. So I just use these kind of simple tweezers that you can pick up anywhere. And that's how I place my beads onto the picture. So tonight or tomorrow, I'll probably start this. It will probably take me a week or so. And I get faster and faster as I do more. And so will you. If you stick with it, it's very frustrating at first and overwhelming when you do your first one. But it's addicting. So that's diamond art. So, <clears throat> so here's box one and two. I just start doing this. It's easier than having to flip open the boxes each time when you have multiple boxes. Just on the outside, I wrote box one, box two. Masking tape comes off easily. And what each bead represents. So you're not taking the time to be opening them and risking not only the time, but uh, spilling them and things like that. Just an easy little thing. So I'm gonna start laying down the white, or off-white in the 24. Um, so I picked the plastic up. This plastic's nice. Some of the kits, the plastic's really kinda cheap and really hard to get off. Um, sometimes you even wanna cut up the middle or whatever, so you're not pulling the whole thing up. You can just work on you know, halves or whatever. Um, my cat likes to uh, plop down on these, so uh, I have to be very careful, otherwise I'm picking cat hair out of it. So, I will show me, I got a good light here, right there. It's not over here, usually it's over here. But I just grab them. I'm standing up at the moment, so. There you go. Just grab them and lay them down. Yeah, it's harder at first because there are, well, basically it's all sticky. So you try not to put your hand down too much, otherwise, you know, you might be taking some hair off. You have hairy hands, I guess. So I'm just laying those down. Um, goes pretty quickly once you get going, and yeah. Alright, so I started this last night, worked on it here and there today, not too much, but right now I'm working on the tees. Um, I like to do the ones that have less color first, I guess, because like these M's get kind of boring, just repeating, repeating, repeating. So I'll show you later how I do those. But right now I'm just doing the ones that, colors that aren't used a lot. So yeah, so right now I'm doing T's, like I said, T as in Tanya, my name, ha. So, that one got loose on me. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And I'm watching American Idol. So, yeah, right there's a T. And 
The dog just came in. Now they're ready for bed. Ready to settle down at least. So this is <clears throat> a good activity to do while you're watching something or, you know, listening to something because you can just go ahead and get her done. So this is day three of coffee. Um, doing the stars right now. So if you want a quick fix, see most of these are on the wrong side, these beads. They need to be on the other side to pick up better. You just give it a little shake. And sometimes looks better than others, but see, now they're all on the other side pretty much. And you can just pick them up like that. All right. All right. So you can see all these beads are flipped to the wrong side. And I'm just going to do a little shake, rattle, and roll. See the shake? Look. It's like magic. Isn't it amazing? Bear, isn't it amazing? Kitty, she thinks it's amazing. All right, that's magic. So I'm just finishing up with uh, Kobe here. You can see the M's. I've done every other. This is just to break up the boredom of doing the same color over and over. Um, plus, it gives you a nice little click sound when they go in, which is very satisfying. Let me see if I can, you know, show you this. It's hard with one hand here. So. At the blacks. Oh, that one went flying, which happened. Um, yeah. Click. You hear it? Listen close. Get a good one. Click. See? So satisfying. There's just something satisfying about that. Uh, maybe it's a year of being, you know, COVID, being in our homes. Maybe it's just my weird personality. But, I, ooh, that was a good one. I do like the click. It's satisfying. And then today or tomorrow, I'll show you it all done. And the next steps to finishing your diamond art. And, yeah, pretty awesome. All right. So these are the last ones on Kobe, unless I find some more, which does happen. Blocking my light there. All right. So. Come on. Oh, did you hear that? That one down, that one's kind of loose. And the line like so. Maybe one here and down. You're going to take your brush and go down, 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 
down Julie Brown. So, yeah. Basically what you're doing, sealing it all up. As my dog walks under my table. And... First you add more glue down here, down here, down here, and get get the gist. Take a paintbrush. Easy peasy. Now Kobe is complete. It can be framed. And here's the last one I did a Kobe. So that is Diamond art.